11-year-old Jun likes to memorize Bible verses at home in Taiwan. Jun, who is the eldest child in the family, started memorizing the Bible when he was in the third grade. It was mother who first suggested that he memorized verses and recite them from memory. During family evening worship, June was happy to recite Bible verses, and even though sometimes it was difficult to remember the verses, he did not get angry. Mother promised that she would tell a Bible story every time he memorized a new verse. June loves listening to stories, especially from the Bible. At family worship, he recites the new Bible verses that he has memorized. His nine-year-old sister and five-year-old brother memorize the same verses, and so do mother and father. The whole family recites Bible verses out loud together. Some church leaders learned about the Taiwanese family that loves memorizing the Bible and invited them to recite Bible verses at an important mission conference. June, his whole family, stood on the stage and recited their favorite Bible verses to a big crowd of people. Many mothers and fathers were in the audience and they were amazed to hear June and his family. They decided also to memorize Bible verses with their children for family evening worship. Then, because of father's work, June and his family moved to a new city. At first, June felt very sad about saying goodbye to his friends. But one day, at his new school, teacher asked, What does it mean to share? June quickly raised his hand. He remembered a favorite Bible story that mother had told him. I know a story about a little boy who shared his lunch of five loaves and two fish and fed it more than 5,000 people, he said. Teacher had never heard the story. June's classmates had never heard the story. They had never read the Bible. Teacher asked June to share the story with the class. June happily told the miracle story of how Jesus blessed a little boy's lunch. He was happy to share his love for Jesus in his new school. One of June's classmates had to move after his father got a new job. June saw that his friend was sad. He understood how the boy felt. He had felt the same way when he had moved. Can I pray for you? He asked. God can make you feel happy again. The boy agreed, and June recited a prayer that he had memorized in the Bible. He prayed the Lord's Prayer, which begins, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. For a full prayer, read Matthew chapter 6, verses 9 through 13. June is not shy about praying with his classmates. These days, his classmates often come to his house to play, and he often invites them to pray together. June likes memorizing the Bible. It has changed his life. Thank you for your 13th Sabbath offering this quarter that will help children and parents learn about Jesus in Taiwan. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, click the notification bell, and smash that like button. Hope you enjoy this video. You can support my ministry in the Patreon. Link will be in the description.